Good morning, football. We are live in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh, actually, we're in New York City, but I'm talking about Alabama because we are joined by a two-time college football playoff Ew. national champion. He won the thing twice, started all 14 games his senior year for the Crimson Tide. Two rings. And he's been called the most underrated defensive back in the nation. His nickname is apparently smooth, and he can dress to kill <laughs> Anthony Averett. Welcome yeah. to the yeah. table, my okay. man. How you doing? How you, How you doing? Doing feeling? Good. I'm doing good. I'm just trying to get up this early morning, New uh -huh. York. I'm glad to be in the East Coast. I'm back. I'm back up home, so... I'm just having a good time right Jersey now. guy? Yeah. Okay. Jersey guy. We got one of those at the table over here. Shout out Cherry Hill Mall. Cherry Hill Mall. Cherry Hill Mall. Shout out. Now, listen, <laughs> we hear this word about Anthony Averett, underrated. But your teammate, Levi Wallace, he was asked, describe a lockdown corner. What is a lockdown corner? He says, well, Darrell Rivas, Richard Sherman, and you. Mm. He brings up your name. That's, that's an esteemed company, my man. Who is the guy you look at in the NFL right now who... You say, I want to have that career. I want to have that game. Uh, Patrick Peterson, uh, Janoris Jenkins, Jack Rabbit, the Giants. Mm. Uh, those two guys, I feel like, you know, I could fit that mold with them. Uh, both man-to-man -man corners, and I feel like that could be me. Mm. You know, before he was your coach and before he was at LSU mm. and before he was at Michigan State, Nick Saban was the defensive coordinator under Bill Belichick, mm. all right? Yes, sir. You think about all these names in the NFL. You're going to be in the NFL learning from these guys, but you've already learned from Saban. So my question is, when you go on these team visits, and they put you on the board, or they ask you questions, or you're at the combine. Do you feel like coming from Nick Saban and coming from Alabama that you are, if not more ready, yeah. you are the most ready of any of these guys to get into an NFL defense? Yeah, I definitely feel like I have an advantage. I mean, I visited the Broncos yesterday, and when I was on the board, I mean, I kind of knew everything they was pretty much talking mm -hmm. about. It's nothing i never really seen before. I mean, I knew all the schemes and just all the tools they use, and we kind of talked the same language, so... I mean, that's just, you know, that's important. Mm. I feel like we get to see the combine because it's on TV. It's on NFL Network. And the pro days we also get to see. But those, those workouts you're talking about, like you visiting mm -hmm. the Broncos yesterday, take me into that workout. What, or even those meetings, what, what don't we know about that process and what makes it different from the other two? I mean, they ask you a ton of questions, that's for sure. Uh, they want to ask about your life other than football. I mean, it's about, like, your background. They want to know what type of person they're going to, you know, Is this like over dinner? Are they taking you drinks? What are they doing? Like, what, what's the, over like dinner? In the office? Yeah, it could be dinner over just drinks or just, I don't know, in an office, anything like that. Just just like you said, pretty much. Um, now, you've been described as a shutdown corner. Um, your, your nickname is smooth, like yeah. Kyle said. You talk smooth. That voice is melodic. My Not bad. I appreciate it. Appreciate um, it. <laughs> uh, but also, uh, as we can tell, you're a soft-spoken individual. Nick Saban even said he's a silent sort of leader. And even your mom wants you to speak up yeah, yeah. Uh, more. Shout out to Mom Dukes. Mm -hmm. uh, do you get loud on the field once you're out there playing when you put the pads on or do you always have this demeanor on and off I mean when it comes to communication I definitely have to talk I mean I'm not out there silent but right. uh definitely I mean I feel like I think they call me the silent assassin I feel okay. like when I'm on the field I mean it's just a different I'm you know a different type of guy that comes out of me I mean I just I love to compete I love the challenge so like that's definitely Support. Ever talk a little trash? Because, you know, in the league, you know, I young mean, guys come as in, a corner, especially a... baby-faced assassins like yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> the receivers, yeah. we talk a little yeah. bit. Well, yeah, yeah, you got to talk a little bit. I mean, you got to. I mean, that's just part of, the, you know, you're playing corner. You got to okay. have a little swag with you a little bit. Okay. Who do you want to go up against in the NFL? Mm. Which uh, wide receiver? The best. Um, Antonio Brown, Odell Beckham, Julio. You know those guys. Oh. Hey. I'm up for that challenge. I want to see. I like that. We had your yeah. teammate Tony Brown on. Um, his nickname mm. is Crazy Tony. Yeah, He's crazy. dressed in a floral suit, head to toe. <laughs> and you come on here and you're so. What's the dynamic like with you and him on opposite corners? You, <laughs> this soft spoken, <laughs> yes ma'am, nice. And this guy coming in. It, literally yeah, dressed yeah. with tropical tropical trees on oh, this year. Yeah. Like, yeah. like the Migos. Yes. Get the glasses yeah, yeah. on. Yeah. That's the, Tony, my guy. Crazy Tony is definitely Crazy Tony. Uh, <laughs> he wanted to, like, you know, most, you know, fun, most fun guys to be around on, uh, on the team. But uh, have, definitely having him as a teammate. I mean, it's fun. I mean, I know he's going to come out there and play with me. He's going to go hard every play, every down. So, mm. hey, I mean, he's fun, though. I like that couple. I like you yeah. guys together. I, the NFL draft. In the later rounds and maybe even the second round, you've got NFL legends announcing the pick. So a Drew Pearson or a Brian Westbrook, they'll be up there saying, mm. all right, this pick for the Cowboys is, in a hypothetical world, if you could have a celebrity, a current player, a former historical player, figure. a historical figure, don't say your, your family, don't, <laughs> not a friend. Okay. Who would you have announcing Anthony Everett's been selected by? Uh, Deion Sanders. Deion oh. Sanders! Wait, we can make that, that happen. Okay, why Dion? I like Dion. I mean, he's my idol growing up. I mean, he was the reason why I wanted to play corner. First, my girl. I mean, he was the first guy I all kind of looked up to. Like, what year oh. were you born? Uh, oh, 94. 94. 
94. When Dion's winning Jesus. Super Bowls, yeah, man. Yeah, right with the Niners. Yeah, I mean, I was a baby. I was young, but I always, I knew who he was. I mean, yeah. I, can't, I come from, from a football family, That's so what's up, I, I yeah. knew who he was. Deion yeah. Sanders. It's a good one, and, and we could probably make that happen. Deion would love to do it. Deion, go get it. That's I would a great answer it. for a yeah, call. I'll cry. I'll, I'll be emotional. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know you're okay. a little soft-spoken, as you yeah. say, and you're the silent assassin, but we're going to need you to get loud here for a minute because we have prospects coming in here day in, day out, claiming that they are the ones that face the toughest competition in the country. We have Darius Geis here saying, do you know where I play? Yeah, yeah. So I want you to make your case for why the SEC is the best conference in college football. I mean, I actually did a little research on that. Uh, I really feel, I mean, I think the past, what, 10 or, or what, what, 10, 11 years uh, in the draft, SEC been leading like the pick. So, uh, mm. I mean, I think that speaks for itself when it comes to talent on the field. I mean, okay. I, I don't really think it's, I don't think it's really close, yeah. honestly. So. Now, now someone might homework? say that Clemson, Deshaun Watson, mm. very talented. Hell of a game you guys yeah, have. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah, definitely. ACC definitely legit. legit. Hey, respect, respect on them, yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but I just know where the, where the talent's at. I mean, SEC, I SEC. mean, overall, I mean, I don't think it's close. Mm. All right, let's get to the overlord of the SEC. We love hearing about Nick Saban because we have all these Tide guys come in here, but you don't learn a lot about him. We had a player come in, uh, our Darius Stewart. He said that, you know, Saban has his own lake, and they were out on uh, jet skis with Alvin Kamara. We hear about the little Debbies on his jar in <laughs> the desk. Tell us something about Lord Saban. Tell us something maybe we don't Lord know. Lord Saban. Mm. I mean, he does have personality. I know a lot of people don't think he's Let's right. hear it. Just, uh, he definitely he makes a lot of old jokes. Uh, Dad jokes? Uh, like, yeah, old jokes that you wouldn't really, you know, like, really? Like, like, I, I guess that, that was funny. Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't really get him. So I'm like, if you say, "Coach, you get a haircut," he says, oh, "I got them all cut." Like that type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, that type of thing. Like, uh, <laughs> Kills. Yeah, like, like a, it's a different type of thing. But Kills. it's a good coach, perfectionist. I mean, I have a little story. Uh, I think I got an interception. I was like a freshman, sophomore. I was a young, like you know, young pup coming in. And I got an interception in practice, and you know, and he just ripped me and ripped me and just you know, just huh. like. I can't use those language right now, oh, okay, but he okay. was just tearing, you know, tearing me up. I'm like, what's wrong, coach? I got an interception. Like, what's, what happened? He was just telling me everything that, like, I needed to hear about technique and everything mm. else like that. So, I mean, that's the type of coach he is, you know, so. It's mm. a perfectionist. That's what he yeah, is. Sounds it's like stuff. a pleasure. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you play for the Patriots. Yeah. You play for the Patriots, it's maybe. It's true. Yeah. 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 I don't know how I would land with these coaches. Anyway, uh, yeah. you're a New Jersey native. I'm a New Jersey native, but you're particularly <laughs> South Jersey. And in South Jersey, if you don't know at home, they've got these gas stations slash convenience stores called the Wawa. Yep. All right. And you're on record multiple times saying you love your Wawa. Yeah, all right. And Wawa. it's it, Wawa's amazing. The it's sandwiches, true. it's incredible. <laughs> so we're going to play a little game called Wawa What. We're going to go around the table and give you a series of Speed items, round. places or people. And you tell me what's better, Wawa or that. I will start off. What is better, Wawa or free Wi-Fi? Whew. It's tough. Wawa. Wawa. Oh, okay. Wawa's okay, better than Wi-Fi. Yeah. What kind of millennial are you? I could, I could, tell, I could, I could pay for the Wi-Fi. When I would go to Wawa, okay. the stuff was free. Wawa there, or water slides? <laughs> Ooh, uh, Wawa. I'm not really a big fan of no. water like that, so I don't even know how to swim, so. Oh, man. Everybody can't the stereotype black people. Get him, man. All right, let's go. Get him, Wawa or Wu-Tang? Uh, Wu-Tang. Okay. I like Wu-Tang. Yeah, that's cool. Wu-Tang! Yeah, like Wu they are. Uh, Wawa or weightlifting? Uh, ooh. Oh, that one's close. You like weightlifting. <laughs> I like weightlifting, though. What? Believe it or not, I'm not okay. the biggest guy, but I like weightlifting. Vince, you can't be perpetuating the stereotype. Wawa or Wu Tang? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I Wawa. Wawa. Nate was giving that question. Yeah. <laughs> Wawa or Will Smith? Uh, Will Smith. I like Will Smith. Okay. Like Wawa or Waffles? Wawa. Wow, wow. Wawa might have Wawa. Uh -huh. That's exactly. right. Convenient. A That's squared everything. Anthony Averitt coming to an NFL team near mm, you. About right to strike here. some fear in these wide receivers. <laughs> Wanting to right. take on the best of them. Good luck to you. And we'll, uh, we're, we're, we're rooting for you. I want to see yeah, man. Go get it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Anthony you. Smooth. smooth Averitt. <laughs> All right. Coming up, Saquon Barkley reportedly trying to choose his destiny.